Hi, my name is Lucas, and today we're going to talk about how to automate your digital morning routine. A while back, I wanted to automate some of the routine tasks that I do on my desktop. So what I decided to do was I wrote a script, which you can see here on the left, which basically automates all sorts of browser tasks, and desktop tasks that I usually do when I'm starting my day. And I wrote an article about it that was published on Towards Data Science, which is here on the right. So basically, uh, with this video, I want to go through this article and talk a little bit about this idea of automating your, uh, automating your life, let's say, uh, in the desktop. So basically, um, I start off, the, the, the first thing that I talk about is the writing a notification function. I wrote two versions, one for Linux and one for Windows. And basically, what this does is it will send you a notification on a window pop-up and according to something that you need with a given message, right? And I use that across, uh, across the script and I'll show you an example in a bit. So basically after that, I have to set up a continue day function, which kind of like controls the flow. Sometimes you don't want to just have all the things open at once. What you want to have is some kind of delay or something that you can just click, all right, next thing, click, next thing, click, next thing, but you don't have to actually do the manual task on your, on your browser or on your desktop, you can just click a button and continue. And then I also uh, use a little simple bash script to log when my system goes on and off because I wanna, I wanna have a kind of proxy of when I start my day and when I finish. And basically the script is very simple. I just do this and I, uh, I record that information on a text file. I'm sure there's like another better way to do it on, uh, on Linux and uh, I, might, uh, I might actually change it in a, uh, in the future, but for now, that's how it looks. And then I print some reminders about trackers that I'm running, which is what I'm doing uh, right here with this like print checker calendar, print this, print that, so that you know when you're running this on the terminal, you see what's happening throughout your day. After that, what I did was I set up a script to do uh, multi-processing because I wanted to run things in parallel. So to do that, I wrote a script called call starts and logs, which is right here. It's basically a very simple script that calls these three uh, scripts at the same time. One, to log the information about which windows I'm using on my desktop, because I wanted to have like a personal tracker of that kind of information. One, to log the keys, which is something I'm not doing anymore, but like I used to do it, which is like log the keys uh, that I type throughout the day. Okay. And finally, I call the start day script, which is basically the main script that, you know, controls the, the flow of everything. And I print some reminders to start, uh, to start tracking focus and stuff. And finally, uh, if you go to the log focus, yeah, if you go to the log focus uh, shell script that I wrote, it's basically a very simple script that, uh, you know, you, you set up a text file and you record when you start focusing and when you end. It's nice to have some kind of proxy of, you know, how productive you're being in terms of focus time throughout your day. And what I used to do, but I'm not doing right now, I can show it here is if I go to my self track environment and I call self track, I wrote a streamlit app wrapper around the, not around the link, that loads the focus time that I had and plots it. So if we go to overview here on my streamlit app, what we can see here is really quickly, it's a lot of data. I actually should I should optimize the loading of the data in this thing. Yeah, but that's that's what you get. Basically, you know, you get focus time on the top, and you get dynamic desktop usage on the bottom, which is the result of logging the information from the windows and stuff. So this tracker is really cool because then I could see that you know I used to be focused six hours on average every day, and that decreased a little bit. So we can see that in July of 2021 that that decreased a little bit. So that showed me that I something was wrong and that I had to you know make changes to to fix uh, to fix that that I was getting tired or whatever and that's what I did here so that's how I use that script so if we continue here what we have is going back to the article then I have the Spotify reminder actually had issues with uh, running Spotify from the script something that I might look into in the future but since I couldn't, what I did was just uh, 
set up a reminder to open up Spotify because I use uh, white noise when I'm starting the day. I actually uh, have seen quite a few papers talk about the relationship between uh, listening to white noise and productivity and like not productivity, but of concentration. And I open Google Calendar, which is basically just a web browser automation, which is I just open up the Google Calendar on my browser. And then I go to the browser, uh, look up what I have to do for that day and I'm good. Finally, I do my touch typing practice. I do that using uh, this tool called MLT for touch typing, which is amazing. It works on the terminal, so it's just super good. It's called ML type. And basically what you can do is you can create custom uh, touch typing practices for yourself. For example, I have one that's called type left. And when I run, what you see here is just letters that I have to type with my left hand. So sometimes it's a little bit weird, but basically that's the idea. And uh, I'm not gonna be writing this all right now, but this is the idea. And I wrote this automation, which is basically an alias uh, with uh, ML type. So ML type is great. That's why I use it. Uh, after that, what I do is uh, I log the typing data from my performance. So every time I, if I give an example here, wait, if I give an example, So basically when I get to the end, I, I input what was my word, uh, words per minute performance, my accuracy performance, I actually had a low performance on this one. And uh, I input if I wanna keep typing, I'm gonna say no now. And basically what this script that I wrote here does is it will log, basically it will log the information, update a CSV file, and then what I want, it can uh, plot that information. And then I have a reminder for studying Mandarin, which I do every day, basically. Um, then I open up a Project Euler, which is basically a website. It's an awesome website for practicing programming problems. And then finally, at the end of this kind of like initiation of my routine, I check my communication channels because I try to do that at the end so that when I'm starting with, you know, emails and communication, I already went through the like first setup of the day and I feel like I'm being productive and stuff. And then I send a final notification to, you know, open a, let, leave an IPython window open. That The cool thing about writing this article was that, you know, it allowed me to kind of organize my thoughts around what I think is a productive routine. And if you want to check out the, if you want to check out the code, I'm going to leave a link to the article as well as a link to my uh, GitHub where, where you can find this article, where you can find the code. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. And that's it. Cheers.